What's up, everybody? So this week on the uh, Cooking with Comedy, we're bringing you uh, chicken pot pie with my favorite pan, the Copper Chef. As you can tell, it's had a lot of use. So what we do is we have the ingredients over here. I like to, you don't have to, but I like to go ahead and cook my chicken prior because I like it kind of grilled and golden brown. You got carrots, about a cup full. You got potatoes. You got onions. And it calls for... Uh, cream of chicken soup, but I like to use the uh, cream of mushroom as well. A little combo there. So I'll throw my cream of chicken in first. Go ahead and get that ready to go. And then uh, toss, dispose of that properly. Get the cream of mushroom. Now you're going to want to go ahead and turn this on to a medium heat. And uh, go ahead and heat up your soup. You, by the way, you're going to preheat your oven for 350 degrees first. So you can go ahead and get that bad boy warmed up. Got to look for it. This is one of my favorite recipes, actually. Um, Copper Chef does have a recipe for this, but uh, I changed it up. I like it better my way. But thanks, Copper Chef, for the, uh, the tidbit. Now, you're going to want to go ahead and get in here. See, take a look at this. Get that nice and stirred up. And usually they, they call for three cans, but we have uh, we don't have exactly the amount of ingredients. It usually calls for more ingredients. I'm using two breasts, it calls for four. I'm using uh, two cans of soup, it calls for three. Um, and I'm only using three small potatoes, it calls for more than that. And then you also have to have your biscuits, which is right up there, which is gonna make your breading for the top. Now, you notice, this is nice and stirred up. You see this? Got a nice little stir to it. You want to try to clear off the edges. Now, once you get this heated and stirred, you want to blend it, of course. The chicken and mushroom make a nice little combo. And you want to kind of get it hot, warm it up. Go ahead and get it in there. Now, after you're done heating this up, you want to let it bubble a little bit, a little bit of bubbling action. Bubble. Okay? You're going to go ahead and take your ingredients, and you're going to go ahead and throw everything in there except for the biscuits. Now, the last thing you're going to do is a biscuit. See, you notice how it's bubbling? See the bubble action? It's got a little bubble action, so it's starting to heat up good. Give it a little stir. Give it a little stir. Just to make sure it gets blended nice and good. Okay, and get it back to where you want it. It needs to be kind of uh, evenly distributed along the bottom of the pan, people. Oh, my life hurt me. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and throw the rest of the ingredients in here, starting with the chicken. Bam, right on top there. Bring this real quick. Hold on. Uh oh. I might have a technical difficulty. Oh, sh Okay, let's just do it like that. It'll work. Once you have it drained, bam, go ahead and throw that in there. Kick it up a notch. Turn the heat down because it's already starting to get crazy. Stir it up. I uh, personally like to add a little salt and pepper. Not too much. You gotta have the salt content. For flavor. Okay. Now you're going to want to stir this up. It needs to be good and mixed. Uh, usually I would use more potatoes, uh, less carrots, and you can actually throw other ingredients in there as well. You know, it's all up to you. You could throw mushrooms in there. You could throw some celery if you'd like. Uh, there's, a, there's a plethora of things you could throw up in there. That's my big word for the day, the plethora. Left, right. It rolls off the tongue. Oh, look at that. Mm, so good. <laughs> I like to stir it. I like to get it juicy. And I hope you've been liking our other videos. And once again, thank you, Copper Chef, for, uh, you know, your pan is great. If anybody out there does not have one, I recommend it. It's got a lifetime guarantee, I believe. So if anything ever happens to it, you can pretty much, like, get you a new one.
You know, if it stops sticking. But it doesn't stick. You can cook anything on it. You can burn chocolate if you really want to. But I prefer not to. You know what I mean? But you can cook it. It's in, out, the oven compatible. Which is really great. You know what I mean? You can put it in the oven. If you need to use it in the oven, you can use it out of the oven. So the ingredients are in there. And they are starting to heat up. Now the last thing that's going to happen is... The oven's set on 350. We're going to go ahead and put this in the oven temporarily. I think it calls for just going ahead and placing the biscuits on top. But we're not going to do that. We're going to try to let the potatoes get a little bit cooked. Get a little cook on them. And uh, then we'll come back. I'll show you how to do that part. We're going to go ahead and throw that in. Kabam! Right there. Oven on 350. Check on it. Okay. We're live. Come on in, folks. After uh, the potatoes get soft, the carrots get soft, you're going to take a roll of biscuits. You're going to go ahead and place them ever so slightly. So slightly. Ooh, they're going to be so delicious. Put three per row. Should cover you just fine. You might not even need to do that because they spread pretty good. So, you're going to try to cover it as much as possible. There's only two biscuits left, so I'm going to go ahead and do the middle like this. Kabam! And kabam. So, we have the biscuits there. Now, uh, the next step of this presentation is to go ahead and... Um, Throw this in the oven until the biscuits are golden brown. Look at it one more time. Bam! Then you just put your hand on the fire. Oh! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't do that. Now you're done. And we'll be seeing you as soon as it's finished. Live! Okay, so it's been enough time. We done put the biscuits. They're golden brown. Ooh, look at this. Coming in a little bit closer here. Let's go ahead and just dig into that real quick. Dig us a little piece out of there. Let's see how it turned out. Mm. Oh, yeah. Some of that goodness. So, uh... This is your meal. Let me go ahead and make a plate real quick. I'm going to make one plate so you people can see it. We choose the round. Round up. Go ahead and get a little bit of a spatula. Don't touch that. That's hot. Let me have that. <laughs> Ouch. The cancel is so, hot. You can do one biscuit servings. Uh, they would be fine. Because one biscuit's worth is quite a bit. Get up close, please. Mm -hmm. Can I get a little extra? A little bit there. What are you looking at? That's that good, good. So, uh, very good, delicious stuff. I suggest it. It's a wonderful meal, quick and easy. Doesn't take long. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for a video every week. And once again, thank you.